Okay, so let's actually go and use compound paths in one of our project files here. So I'm going to move my swatches back over to the right and you can close out of this file that we're working on here. If you want to keep it, if you want to save it for future reference, go ahead there. I'm just going to close my file here. By the way, I'm just hitting Control W or Command W on the Mac. I'm not going to bother saving here. And we want to open up one of our project files here. So I'm going to head up to File Open. And if you head to your desktop, look for your Project Files folder, head into Part 1, and then Lesson 2. And inside the Lesson 2 folder, you will find Uncolored Bots. So let's open up that file here. And here we have a sample file here. I've drawn you some fairly scary robot monsters here. This guy here in the bottom corner, these two fellas here, and we have some other objects sitting towards the top of your screen, which we'll get to in just a moment. But let me show you where we could actually use compound paths in more of a real world project file here. So I'm gonna have you zoom in on this robot down in the bottom right corner here. I'm calling this guy berserk because he's kind of going berserk here so there he is there and of course you can see he's supposed to be sort of looming towards us here and he's going a little bit haywire here up towards the top now I zoomed in a little bit too close I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit because I want to show you something here now you don't have to do this on your computer but I'm gonna do this here just so you can see what areas of our berserk robot are filled with white and what areas are clear so usually when I'm doing something like this I just use a great big rectangle here and I cover up my artwork here and I fill it with a color I don't really care what color because that doesn't really matter I'm just gonna move this to the very back of the stacking order just by going control shift open square bracket or command shift open square bracket that moves my rectangle to the back and I'm gonna lock this guy down as well you can use your object menu if you want or I always just go control 2 or command 2 on the Mac that locks the object down so now I can't select it here and you can see where our robot is going berserk here. We have some stars here. And aha, there we go. We have some stars, but they don't have holes knocked in them. They are filled with white here. So you can see that there. So you'll find this in the different pieces of artwork that you might be working on. I always look for different areas like this. It could be perhaps the space underneath a person's arm or some sort of an inside space on a piece of artwork. This is a perfect example here. So what I want to do here is essentially take these shapes, these white objects here, and use them as cookie cutters to knock a hole in the overall shape. So now just to show you what we're going to be working with here, because again, you're probably new to all of this, I'm going to hold down shift and select each of my white objects here in this first star here. And I'm actually going to hide them here temporarily just by hitting control three or command three. So you can see here that this black object here, this would be like my dough from our previous file. So that's what we're dealing with here. I'm going to unhide my white shapes just by going control alt three or command option three on the Mac. My white objects reappear and now I'm ready to knock a hole in the black object, the object that's behind these white shapes here. So keep these white shapes selected here. I'm going to hold down shift and click on my black object here in the background. And you remember your keyboard shortcut from just a minute ago? It was control eight or command eight on the Mac. And you can see like magic, those white objects have been used to knock a hole in this outside black object. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more practice on this, we have three more stars to go. Each will work exactly the same way. So I'm just gonna hold down my shift key and select each of the white objects on top. And then also shift click the black object in the background, control or command eight, to knock that hole and of course you can see the orange shape showing through that's by the way why I put that orange rectangle in the background so that I can know for sure that a hole has indeed been knocked in the shape let's finish this off here we have two more stars to go here this one is a little bit longer here it has this extra little circular thingamajiggy attached to it here doesn't really matter controller command 8 very lovely and one more to go here There it is, control eight, command eight, perfect. So there's our three stars. And of course the fourth one, the one that we started with, all set up as compound paths. So now I could take my 
Berserker robot set up here, I could now take him and put him over top of a photograph or put him over top of some kind of a colored background and I won't have these white blocks showing up over top. So again, watch out for these areas. Again, I used some examples earlier, the space underneath someone's arm or any sort of an inside space that's actually supposed to be a hole in the artwork. You can simply use compound paths to fix the problem.